let's be realistic. Making hypercars is not going to change the world. It's going to inspire. Marta mentioned the Bugatti Arimats joint venture the two of you announced in July. What was the motivation behind for Porsche to take this step? We decided uh, to build the future of uh, Bugatti together and uh, with combining three strong brands, um, Bugatti, Remats and Porsche. Bugatti with its heritage, um, its fans all over the world. Uh, Remats um, coming from a startup now uh, with the innovative spirit of electromobility to build uh, fantastic hypercars and Porsche as a, a strong financial partner with all its experience. And we think to, to combine everything together, uh, we are looking forward to a fantastic future of Bugatti. Uh, Mate, you mentioned to step out of your comfort zone is important to move forward. Uh, what was your motivation behind, or is your motivation behind this joint venture? Is it also a step out of the comfort zone or a step into a comfort zone? Well, it's, uh, it's a huge responsibility taking responsibility for a 112-year-old brand. And I think it's the first time that Volkswagen did something like this where they gave a brand outside of the group to a little company in Croatia led by a 30-year-old guy. So huge uh, thanks for that uh, and having the, um, the, the confidence in us. Uh, it is out, outside of the comfort zone, but let's be realistic. Making hypercars is not going to change the world. It's going to inspire. Kids are putting the you know, uh, pictures of the cars on the wallpaper or maybe more now on the wallpaper of their phone. Um, but I think there is a trickle down from those hypercars where we apply this technology than elsewhere. Um, but uh, it, it, it's, I think, something that has huge potential in terms of that market. But um, I also want to stay realistic. And you know, that's toy for rich people in the end. So how can we uh, use that to, to uh, bring you know, this technology to the wider uh, market? I have a follow up for you, because you mentioned you are just a small Croatian company. But What's the secret behind driving innovations in a small company to deliver to a big industry? Uh, I, I think that's, <laughs> that's the key question. Like, I, I don't know of any company that started in a garage and within 10 years became a tier one for critical components in the auto sector. And you know, when you go into this with blue eyes and you don't know how difficult it is, like if I was working in a car company before, I would know that it takes 50 engineers and 10 million to develop the door handle. Mm -hmm. And I had nothing and no experience and we were like three guys and we were developing a whole car. So you have to go naively into this. And I think uh, the, the company didn't start with innovation in mind. We just wanted to realize what we thought was, was possible and we had to invent a lot of stuff to make that even possible. So there was no you know, big, uh, I don't know, uh, consultant research on uh, innovation management or whatever. We just did what we thought was right. And I have a last question for Oliver. You mentioned in your keynote some strong partners around Porsche. How important are these partners to develop the company or a powerful company like Porsche even further? I think. Uh, the right partners, to have the right partners is more important than ever before, especially in the period we are living, in the transformation period. And uh, for us, it's uh, very important to find partners um, to challenge each other. We can't and we don't want to do everything by, by our own. And therefore, we decided um, to, to go um, for battery systems uh, or for this joint venture. Together with Remark, um, we are developing and um, producing battery cells um, together with custom cells, um, a very um, experienced uh, partner in, in battery cells. Um, we have partners in charging infrastructure. We have partners in sustainable energy. And therefore, I think um, it's the most important um, for every com um, company in the automotive industry to have the right partners to uh, um, have a successful path through the transformation. And with this, I would like to thank both of you for this fireside chat, so to speak, and for your keynotes. I think, finally, some big hands for Mate Riemerts and Oliver Blume. Thank you.